Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today, from 1001 Sandwiches of 1936, we're going to be making the jellied chicken sandwich number one. That's right, there are two jellied chicken sandwich recipes in this book. If I do the second one, it depends entirely on how this goes. And in order to make this jellied, not jelly, chicken sandwich number one, we have to start today and finish it tomorrow. But don't worry, you'll see it all in one video, because that's how I roll. Okay, to make our filling, we add to cold water gelatin. Get that stirred up and put it on the heat. Now we add that to some minced chicken, along with salt, pepper, freshly grated horseradish, and cream that's been whipped to a froth. Now we cover that up and chill. All right, it's the next day and our jellied chicken is set up, so we put that onto thinly sliced buttered bread. Okay, let's give this jellied chicken sandwich number one a go. It's not bad. I mean, they had to do the whole gelatin thing, of course, to get it set up so that you could slice it like a loaf. I was not tremendously successful with that, but I did manage to get a slice off of it. But it's just basically chicken, salt, pepper, a little bit of cream held together uh, on buttered bread. I think we can plus this up a little bit. First, I'm going to add a little all-purpose seasoning. It goes really well with chicken. Then I'm going to add a slice of tomato, a little salt, and pepper. Okay, let's give this jellied chicken sandwich number one plussed up with the all-purpose seasoning blend and a slice of seasoned tomato. Go. Oh. That is definitely more tasty. And now you're getting a little freshness and a little sweetness from that tomato. The different herbs in the all-purpose seasoning blend goes fantastic with chicken. In case you're wondering what's in all-purpose seasoning, it is onion, black pepper, garlic, parsley, tomato powder, basil, thyme, oregano, sage, and coriander. And it is really good. You should always have this at home. Okay, so the original jellied chicken sandwich number one fine. Um, it was basically just mildly seasoned chicken with a little bit of cream uh, and gelatin. I don't know if it was worth the effort, but okay, I get it. It's a dainty little sandwich. I'll give it a five. Plus up with the uh, all-purpose seasoning blend and a seasoned tomato. Uh, I'm probably going to give that a, probably about a six and a half. I dig that. It's tasty. Probably won't ever make this again because there's so many other better chicken sandwiches out there, but I'll finish it for lunch. <laughs> All right, see you tomorrow. Oh.